Hey guys, welcome back. I'm David and we're here in my shop where I build E-War guitars. And this is going to be my first official GGBO 2021 uh, entry video. So uh, anyway, in this video I'm going to go from the initial design, which incidentally has changed a bit since I initially designed it, but that's how it usually goes. I'm going through my wood selection and then I'm going to finish up the video with some of this cool, uh, cool stuff I've built for this guitar. Anyway, uh, this is going to be compiled of the three previous videos I did in this series uh, on doing all this stuff, where I like to dig in a little bit deeper and, and, and go through some of the processes and the mind thought, uh, mindset I had doing this stuff. But anyway, this one's a, a compiled so I can do them all in six videos rather than 18 or something like that. So anyway, I hope you dig it. Um, stick around and watch, and if you do dig it, how about you give me a like and subscribe. Anyway, I uh, hope you like it, and God bless you, and you all have a wonderful day. getting started designing I decided to uh, use as a starting point anyway the initial body shape of the Bishop guitar that I just finished I just finished two of them and but this one's going to change it up a bit I'm going to change the body up and I'm actually doing a 25 inch scale length on this guitar you can see I'm laying out the neck on the, on the, uh, on the drawing paper and laying out the nut and everything so I start when I start designing a guitar I lay out all the work and uh, bits first. You know, I get the neck laid out and the uh, uh, pickup set and the headstock. Oh, that's a different headstock I'm going to use too. That's a cool looking, uh, I think a real cool looking headstock. That's got a 3x3 three three tuners on it and I think it'll go good with this guitar. I'll do a tilt back headstock on it too. So yeah, I like getting the pickups laid out, get the bridge laid out, um, get my controls laid out before I really start tweaking on the body and everything. Now originally I was going to use a string through bridge, but I think I'm going with a two-piece bridge with the uh, bridge and then a tailpiece with a wrap tailpiece. I got. I think it's a goto. I've already I've already picked that up. Now I could get in and start start tweaking on the shape a little bit and get it get it so it works right and get the lines get all the curved lines and everything going how I want it. And the slightest detail can make the biggest difference, you know. Just it takes very subtle changes in lines and to really change the appearance. Either change it for the good or for the bad. I hope I'm doing this one to the good. <laughs> but uh, in this I'm going to do, I have in my head, I want to do a, like a Buckeye Burl uh, top. But the top is not going to be the entire top. It's just going to be shaped almost like a pick guard on a thing. Although it's going to be laminated directly to the ash body. But I want to cut it out like a pick guard. And I th if, if what's in my head comes out good, I think it'd be cool looking. But I'm trying to determine the where the pick guard portion, the Buckeye Burl, is going to stop. And so I drew another curve at the bottom. Now I'm getting my uh, controls laid out. I want, them, I want them to line up right in between where the Buckeye Burl stops and the ash starts. And I think that'll be kind of cool too. And I'll recess them in a little bit. Not totally crazy with the way that bottom uh, curve came out on the pick guard, so I did this to it. And I think that made all the difference in the world. And you'll see when the Buckeye Burl gets laid out, it kind of blends into that little point really well. I think it's going to be cool. I think it's going to be cool. I'm pretty excited. Anyway, so uh, here we are. I've got my design here. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a dual humbucker pickup uh, design. I'm following the same uh, outline, the pattern of the guitars I just finished, although I'm going to change up quite a bit of stuff on it. I'm going to do, uh, I've got a piece of Buckeye Burl right here, which uh, I've never used before. I thought a competition is probably a good, good place to uh, try out new stuff. Try to experiment a little bit and see what I could do. I've got some epoxy over there. I'm going to work on uh, working this and do some colored epoxy in it. I intend to slice this up and do, uh, I hope it's two and a quarter inches thick. And I'm hoping to slice it up and get four different pieces out of it where I can make two separate tops. And I'm going to separate it with some of this walnut veneer right here. So I think that might be kind of cool. Um, I hope it works. Like I said, it's an experiment and that's probably the first thing i got to get going on. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to do two different tops, um, each one separated by some walnut veneer. And this secondary top here is going to be quite thin. 
Um, I want to make it as thin as I can, and it's going to incorporate the Buckeye Burl with some of the uh, epoxy uh, filling the holes. And it's going to almost act, it's going to almost look like a pick guard. It's going to be glued on and everything, but it's going to be uh, hopefully look about like a pick guard. On top of this ash body blank I have down here. So, uh, and uh, yeah, and I've got uh, I've got this wood here. I got from Guitar Wood Experts. I'm not exactly even sure what it is. I bought some other uh, uh, fingerboard material, and they sent me a couple of these. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Goncalo. It looks like a very tight grained, uh, uh, very straight, uh, uh, flat, smooth, um, some kind of hardwood. It looks pretty cool. But I also still have some Wenge left over from the last couple guitars I made. I may make the neck, uh, the fretboard out of that too. Not quite sure yet. And I've got this here piece of uh, very old, I do, I do remodeling, I'm a construction uh, guy, I have a little construction company here in Mobile. And this is a two before that was taken out of a house that was constructed in uh, 1897. So that's a very old chunk of wood right there, it's just beautiful, it was, uh, it's, it's turned into a fat lighter, but it was originally a piece of, uh, I believe a piece of yellow pine. And it's, it's heavy and hard as a rock. And, uh, uh, I planed off two sides of it and it looks really pretty. Nice looking piece of wood. I think I'm going to make the uh, neck out of that, although I'm not sure. I had it in my, uh, I put it in my hot box for about three weeks wanting to dry it out and it came out and it had a bit of a twist to it. So I don't know if you could see that, but that thing's rocking pretty good. And it was pretty flat before because I just planed it. Uh, but so, I mean, the jury's still out on that one too. I'm going to reflatten this. I'm going to keep an eye on it over the next couple weeks. I'll probably put it back in my hot box. If it continues to twist, I'm going to uh, use it for something else and I'll get a different piece of wood because I definitely don't want something that's going to be moving in my neck. Even though I'm probably going to laminate some other woods in here too, I uh, still don't want the main body of the neck to be, uh, be anything that's going to be moving on me, of course. So anyway, so, uh, uh, so that's a question mark and this Buckeye Burl is a question mark too. Uh, I've never used this before. I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, I've got it kind of figured out roughly how I want to lay the uh, how I want to lay the uh, the body out on it, so I could keep some of this live edge and do something cool with some epoxy. But uh, anyway, I think uh, what I got to do first, I want to start cutting on this thing to see if it's going to hold together for me. Because if not, I'm going to have to jump ship with this idea and try out something else. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to take this on over to my bandsaw and start cutting on it and see what I could do.
fall in love again Once again You're knocked down But you gotta stand up If you want to love again Once again Trying to make something out of nothing, you know You never wanted silver, gold, or the finer things Just a wife and kids, a home in the American dream Oh, how you gonna step in line? A big windshield or a plane, not a TV screen Don't you need the road to tell you who you really are Find out whether or not a man could ever change his star